the rest of the the words off the battle pass a little bit later. Let's take a look at the patch notes here. All right, so I started reading some of this. So we got the control game mode. We kind of went through that. Uh, all right, so here's our eligible for competitive play. We'll have the lock icon in the hero gallery. Implement a group of matchmaking enhancements to improve match quality. Minor polish improvements to the competitive play UI flow. Uh, new hero remaster won't be available in competitive for two weeks. I missed the first part. Uh, there are new temporary competitive title rewards for name cards based on your end of season rank. You can only earn these titles at the end of the current competitive season. You can only use them in the following se in the following season. Okay. So hero updates. Uh, damage roll passive has changed. No longer provides a movement speed bonus. Uh, the reload speed bonus is increased from 25 to 35 percent. So it helps you reload faster. That's fine. We get Ramatra. We kind of read him. Uh, it's a stream of projectiles, a fixed pattern. All right. Doomfist gets, I guess he gets a boatload. Yeah, he gets a bunch. So the Rocket Punch gets a little bit improved. Um, cooldowns faster. His power block cooldown from eight to seven, which is nice. Uh, the duration of the boost you get from it goes from two seconds to two and a half, or no, excuse me, at last two and a half seconds instead of two seconds. Then minimum damage mitigated to empower the punch drops from eighty from ninety to eighty, so he got a lot better. Meteor strike now players empowers rocket punch on landing. That's fantastic because meteor strike is absolutely terrible. Uh, alt without any kind of boost, so that really helps him. Um, and it increased the slow duration from two to three, which is anytime you slow people down, it's pretty, pretty good. Nice. Uh, best defense: the maximum temporary health increase from 150 to 200. So he gets when he gets temporary health, he can get more. The maximum health gain per target hit with abilities is increased from 30 to 40. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, he's. I think Doomfist is going to be pretty freaking good. All right, so they uh, changed the hitbox size on the torso and head for Junker Queen. Apparently, she, her hitboxes were too small. Uh, her Rampage ability, uh, the wound duration is reduced from five to four and a half seconds. The alt cost, though, is reduced by 10%, so you'll see it a little more often. Uh, commanding Shout. Uh, cooldowns reduced from 15 to 14. Okay. Adre Adrenaline rust, patches of healing, multiplier is increased from 1 to 1.25. Okay. That's not uh, too bad. Sebastian gets uh, delay before projectile drops reduced from 1 to, to 0.6. That's nice because it typically uh, you'd be easily be able to run out of his alt explosion range. So that's a buff. Uh, the explosion damage is reduced from 300 to 250, so that's a that's a nerf a little bit. Uh, he can't kill himself with it. That's nice. Uh, and the delay between placing shots is reduced by 20%. Okay. Uh, and he can now reconfigure a little faster, so that's a little scary. Uh, ultimately, a little scary for. Uh, Anybody who faces him. All right, Sojourn, this is a big one. Let's see if anything actually happened to her. Um, says the developer comments say, Sojourn is performing well at the highest tiers of competitive play, but poorly below those tiers. Much of the perception that she is too powerful seems to be driven by the reaction to dying to long, dying and dying to her at long range. Charge, charge headshots from her railgun second year fire. These charges are aimed at reducing uh, frustrations there with the biggest change being the reduced critical multiplier for headshots. A fully charged headshot no longer kills a full 200 HP hero. 
to help account for the loss of power, we're increasing the damage of her primary fire and how quickly her energy her energy charges during her ultimate. All right, so her energy delay before draining uh, is reduced from eight to five. Uh, secondary fire damage fall off starting uh, reduced from 70 to 40. 70 is like across the damn map, so it actually makes the drop off relevant. Uh, secondary f fire critical damage multiplier reduced from two to one and a half. Secondary fire damage now scales uh, linearly with energy from 30 to 130 damage. One energy converts to one damage added. Primary fire damage per projectile increased from 9 to 10. Overclock energy charge rate increased by 20%. Interesting. Uh, this makes her alt charge faster. When she's in it, she'll get it recharges faster. Symmetra, did they, did they give her anything that's going to make her better and more playable? Oh, changes to Symmetra's primary fire will make her gameplay faster by by enabling her to charge the beam up to dangerous levels more quickly. However, it will also drain to less lethal levels at an increased rate when not damaging a target. Reverting the adjustments to her ammo management because while it helped with matchups where there were no barriers, it lost something interesting to its interactions. The beam charge rate and decay rate is increased by 20%, so it'll Charge faster, but decays faster. That's fine. Uh, primary fire ammo consumption rate is increased from 7 to 10 per second. That's... Uh, okay. Uh, the primary fire gains ammo from damaging barriers again. Okay. Gains ammo? Uh, or is it gain charge? I think it gains charge from damaging barriers. It doesn't gain ammo. We'll have to check. Uh, they increased the uh, damage on tracers per bullet from 5 to 6. It's fine. Uh, sleep darts cooldowns reduced by a second. Kirko. Arm hit volumes with reduced by 15%. Added the auto Walkheim hero option. Okay, that's nice. Let's see, what's the arm hit volume with? What the heck is that? Uh, hit volume adjustment is to help address her arms, sometimes blocking headshots and some of her animations. Oh, okay, so they... Okay. All right, that makes sense. Uh, ultimate cost increased by 10%. Uh, movement speed bonus reduced from 50 to 30. Uh, cooldown rate reduced for, from three to two times faster. So they kind of nerfed her Kitsune Rush. Uh, the Protection Suzu cast time reduced to 0.1. So almost instantaneously. And they gave her a little more ammo. And now you can just hold to activate Swift Step, which in my experience is a huge boost. It makes it easier to, to get to her. Apparently, they thought Mercy's weapon swap time was too slow, so they uh, decreased it, and they gave her more ammo. Not sure what else they could have done for her. Um, season 2 map pools. Uh, push. We've got New Queen Street, Coliseo, and Esperanza. Hybrid, we get Blizzard World. Overcast, that's nice. Eichenwald, King's Row, Midtown, and Parisio. That's good. Uh, Escort, we got Dorado, Junkertown, Circuit Royale, Rialto, nice, get the Rialto back, Route 66, and Shambali Monastery. Control maps, we get uh, Busan, Ilios, Lijang Tower, Nepal, and Oasis. Bug fixes. Fix a bug that was causing Roadhog's breaths to not be audible when... Viewing some animations in the hero gallery. Fix a bug that caused some of the players to lose competitive challenge progress. That sucks. Solved an issue where several products couldn't be unlocked from the hero gallery. Fixed an issue with the lifesaver challenge, not counting Mercy's Resurrect as a save. Resolved an issue with purchases not immediately showing up after purchase. Fix a bug with Torbjorn. Symmetra's turret displaying red overlays in deathmatch for players that place them. All right, they fixed a area of a map where players could get stuck on Busan. Fixed the geometry that allowed some heroes to contest undetected. 
Esperanza. They fix some areas that could be used to escape the playable space. And fix the armory that allowed some heroes to contest undetected. Gibraltar. Fixed lighting issues across the map. Fixed some areas where Torbjorn could place his turret in unreachable spots. I can't let people find this shit. Uh, Nepal, they replaced some missing pillars on the Sanctum. Uh, Rio fixed a bug that allowed some of the heroes to get inside of the payload. Well, that's some shit right there. Uh, Route 66 fixed the lighting issues across the map. New Queen Street fixed some issues with shadows across the map. Fixed an area of the map where players could get stuck. Alright, it says heroes will no longer take uh, damage from their own abilities if they're on the other side of the friendly barrier. Fixed an issue with the damage passive where sometimes a double reload animation would occur when the buff was active. Cast resolved an issue with some skins using the wrong props. The flashbang victory pose. Uh, Doomfist Fissionary, Doomfist Power Block reduced the damage from some area of effect abilities. Meteor Strike, you can no longer detect Sombra if targeting Rectangle gets near her. Ooh, that was kind of a jacked up thing that they could have done. Uh, Diva, fix a bug that allowed players to self-destruct during their mech's destruction while hacked. That's busted, and I'm glad they fixed that. Jerker Queen, the blade can no longer be recalled while slept, stunned, hacked, or frozen. That's busted that they were allowed to do that. Fixed an issue with Jagged Blade being consumed by friendly abilities like Deflect, Defense Matrix, etc. Jagged Blade now takes a curved trajectory on return. Mercy. Guardian Angel now correctly resets if cooldown of Valkyrie is used. Guardian Angel uh, cancel boost is now disabled when Mercy is stunned. That makes sense. Moira. Junkrat's trap no longer displays at chest height in the first person when using Fade. <laughs> I wish I would have saw that. Uh, Farrah fixed a bug that reduced the alt cost of the rocket barrage. Soldier 76 fixed an issue where Soldier 76 was unable to critically hit max range enemies during tactical visor. Symmetra fixed a bug that resulted in all uh, voiceovers being cut out when, ta when taking the teleporter. Tracer fixed, uh, 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 fixed a big, causing her... <laughs> Causing her pulse pistol to da damage to fall off and not start until max range. Winston revised an issue with the werewolf skin and the excuse me highlight intro during uh, turning Winston red into hero gallery. And the final one, uh, Zenyatta, they fixed an issue with melee not correctly 